So one very cool feature uh, in Groove Agent 4 is the ability to uh, create slices out of loops and samples and map them out on different pads. And I'll show you guys how easy it's done. So I have a particular loop in mind here. I'll just drag and drop it on a pad and trigger it here. And as you can hear, it's just a simple drum loop. Um, in the edit section, I can then create slices. And uh, with the threshold, I create more or less hit points. And as you can see, uh, the hit points, the portions are being displayed instantly on the pads here. So this is very cool. One very cool feature also in Groove Agent 4 is the ability to classify those slices. So I'll just go ahead and press on classify and as you can see here, you know, Groove Agent has the ability to recognize a kick, a hi-hat and a snare. So making your job a whole lot easier when it comes to tagging those slices. So that's the classify button. Uh, in the Groove Agent 4. So let's just take a look what happens at the patterns. Because in the pattern section right here, you will see the MIDI events in a MIDI ramp. And if I play it along, you know, it's being played at the right tempo. I can even go ahead and be like, if I like this particular snare and I want the whole loop to be playing this particular slice, I can set notes of the same class and now this particular slice is being played throughout my whole loop. I can even go ahead and do the same for the hi-hats. So you can see that with the Groove Agent 4 you really have the freedom in, uh, to really go ahead and do some serious editing in the pattern section also. There are other ways, of course, you can work with samples in Groove Agent 4. Uh, in this particular case, I have a vocal sample, and let's just go ahead and see what I have here. I'll just, uh, I just want to work with a small portion of this vocal sample right here. So, what do we have you, here? You can be what you want to be. Yeah. So, basically, I want to work with a small portion of this sample. So I'll just go ahead and select it, and then trim it. And uh, be what as you, you can see, be. it's already trimmed right here. And um, of course, I showed you guys already how to work with the slicing. You know, that could be something very cool to work with here. So. You know, especially if you like chopping up old soul samples or whatnot, I mean, this is a very uh, quick way of working. Um, another cool thing you could do with this vocal sample is, for instance, go on the pitch and just uh, create a key range and map it all out on multiple pads. So, as you can see, instantly it's being created for me in different pitches. And uh, I could also go ahead and play around with the audio warp, uh, you know, if you're uh, working with some... Be, 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 be what you be. And of course the algorithm uh, is superb uh, when it comes to the audio warp. So, you know, this is uh, a, a just a quick way of how you can work with vocal samples and how you can map them out on different pads and just start playing around with it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Especially if you love to work with old soul samples or whatnot, you know, you could dust off these old records and start playing around with it in Groove Agent 4. Now that I mapped out my sample on multiple pads, I might want to add an effect and in Groove Agent 4, you know, it's very flexible when it comes to routing uh, and one of the ways I could go about is uh, assign an output to like one of the 16 uh, buses I have in Groove Agent and let's just take a look at the mixer right here and add one of the 27 effects we have. I'll just go ahead and add a 
simple multi delay. Be what you want to be. You know, so like I said, Groove Agent 4 is very flexible when it comes to routing. Um, and this is just one of the quick ways you can go about it. Okay, guys, thanks again for watching. This was just me scratching the surface of what Groove Agent 4 really holds, you know. It comes with a huge library, and uh, whether it's rock or EDM or hip-hop, it got what you need. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And don't forget to check out our website for some more tutorials. And, uh, well, I'll see you guys in the future. Peace.